Hello, today we're looking at energy, and energy is a quantity that we measure in joules. So you've probably come across that before, joules, and it's written as a capital J when we just write the abbreviation. And over the next few videos, we're going to be looking at changes in the way energy is stored in systems. But for this video, we're going to look at kinetic energy. And what is kinetic energy? Well, this is the energy associated with a moving object. It's the energy that we associate with a moving object. And as it is energy, we do measure that in joules as well. Now, to calculate this, we need to use an equation. And unfortunately, this is an equation that you need to know and remember. You won't be given this in your exam. There are over 20 you need to remember for your exam, and this is the first of those. So kinetic energy is 0 0.5 times mass times speed squared. You might see it written like this. And that looks slightly more complicated, but basically this is kinetic energy, half is half, mass is m, and v squared is speed squared. Now we say v squared because sometimes you might see it written as velocity squared. Velocity is speed, but in a given direction. But what we're going to use is um, speed for our calculations today. So we need to know the units. Mass is measured in kilograms, and that's abbreviated with a k and a g. Speed is measured in meters per second. And we write that as m slash s. And joules, uh, sorry, kinetic energy, as we know, is, is measured in joules. Sometimes if you're dealing with larger amounts, we use kilojoules, abbreviated with a kj. Kilo meaning a thousand. So in fact, for our grams there, we've got kilograms, that's a thousand grams. So let's have a look at an example where we can calculate the energy associated with a moving object. And the moving object in this case is a young person. And we can give the mass of about 55, not about, but exactly 55 kg. And we can give a speed of 7.5 meters per second. And we need to work out the kinetic energy. And so all we do is put our numbers into the equation. It's called substituting into the equation, which you might have learnt about in maths. It's a simple case of 0 0.5 times the mass, which is 55, times the speed, which is 7.5 and it's squared, so it's 7.5 times 7.5. You might want to use a squared button on your calculator. And when you put those numbers in, we get an answer of 1546.875 joules. 1546.875 uh, joules. We could round that up to two decimal places, and that will give us 1546.88 joules. And there is our answer for that running person. It might be worth you having a go at some of these yourself. So here we've got a car. That's supposed to be a bullet. And at the bottom there, we've got a space shuttle. Okay, so pause here, have a go at these three and see what numbers you come up with and we'll go through the answers in a moment. Okay, the first thing is always good practice. We need to remember this equation, so it's worth writing it out. So kinetic energy, if you remember, was 0 0.5 times mass times speed squared. So there it is written out. Let's highlight that because it's very important. And we're going to be using that for all of our three examples. So for the moving car, we have, if we put in the numbers, 0 0.5 times 580 times 20 squared, or you can put 20 times 20 into, into your calculator, and you will end up with an answer of 116,000 joules, which is also the same as 116 kilojoules. Remember, kilo means 1,000, so we divide the joules by 1,000 to get kilojoules. For our second one, there's a slight complication in that the bullet is measured in grams and not kilograms. So if, to go from grams to kilograms, we divide by 1,000. And in this case, that will give us an answer of 0.0042. And that's in kilograms, and that's the unit we need it in. So let's just move that out of the way. And then there's our measurement in kilograms. We can put that into our equation. So it'd be 0 0.5 times 0 0.0042 times 1,000 squared, or times 1,000 times 1,000. And that will give us an answer of 2,100 joules. And again, we can write that in kilojoules by dividing by 1,000. 
that will give us 2.1 kilojoules. So there's our answer for the bullet. Actually, it might be worth just uh, numbering these so we know which question goes along with which answer. So putting in the numbers, we would have 0 0.5, which doesn't change, 0 0.5 times 27,500, which is the mass of our shuttle, times the speed times the speed, or speed squared, which is that. And then we have rather a large number. It's 1237500000. That's a large number to deal with. And we could change it to kilojoules, but it doesn't really make it that much more simple. So what you might be able to do, ask to do sometimes is to put your answer into standard form. And this is something probably you've learned in maths. So we can just summarize it here. With standard form, we write numbers in a certain way. So we have a number between 1 and 10. So it's 1 or higher and less than 10. So that's one part of our standard form notation. And then we have times 10 to a power. So that would be the small number at the top there. That would be to a power. Now where do we get our number from between 1 and 10? So in this case, we would use 1.2375. And that comes from here. We put the decimal point between the 1 and the 2. Let's just tidy that up slightly. And then where do we get our power? So it's 1.232375 times 10. Now what's our power? Well, we have to look at how far we have to move the decimal place to get our original number. So in this case, it's nine places. So in this case, the answer is 1.2375 times 10 to the 9 joules. And that's our final answer for the energy of that space shuttle. Okay, so three examples with some manipulations you have to do with numbers. What we looked at here is how to measure kinetic energy. And unfortunately, you have to remember that formula, that equation. So it might be worth just making a list, starting a list somewhere of the equations you need to know. So you can revise those near the exam. But other than that, that's me done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.